Printify has been extremely busy making tons of changes to their platform. So if you use Printify or you plan to use Printify, you're going to want to watch this video. The first massive new news is the new Amazon integration with Printify. Amazon already had Merch by Amazon, which allowed you to sell print on demand products. The problem is it was extremely hard to get into. It seemed to be the luck of the draw. I had been applying for years with tons of different email addresses, varying on different levels of success with my Etsy store that I could point them to, yet I was never ever approved for Merch by Amazon. So I was never able to sell on the Amazon platform. And I know I'm not one of the only people that had this issue, but now we can sell on Amazon via the Amazon and Printify integration. I've already set up my Amazon and Printify connection. It actually took me a lot quicker than I thought to get the Amazon set up. I did have to put in a lot of my information and I had to do some verification through photos and IDs. But once it was completed, I was almost in instantly verified, though they have said sometimes it could take a few days to a few weeks. I've actually dedicated a lot of time this week upcoming to learning about Amazon. I do have my first product up, but I'm not really following a lot of the Amazon best practices yet. So this week, my focus is actually going to be learning the Amazon platform, how to get found. And I'm going to be putting my best selling products from Etsy onto Amazon. And I will keep you guys updated on how that goes and what I learn about this new integration as things go. So if you're here, I recommend maybe dropping a follow would help me out and then you'll get to learn a lot more about this new integration. The next new update is Printify has introduced a brand new category of print on demand products that I haven't seen done through any other print on demand suppliers out there. And this is supplements. If you look through, we have things like collagen, hair vitamin gummies, there's protein powder, omega-3 fish oil supplement. There are so many of these that they recently added. And if you go through, I'm probably gonna be ordering some for myself because I buy these anyway, but now I can make my own branded ones. I personally wouldn't be selling these on Etsy. I don't think you'd be able to, or really on Amazon either. This is something if you had your own supplement brand selling on your own website, but if you do plan on selling these, I highly recommend taking some time and doing some research as to what it means to be selling supplements and making sure that you're hitting all of the guidelines, because this can be kind of a tricky subject when you're selling health products, something I personally haven't looked into that much because I don't plan to sell these. But if you do, make sure you're doing your research before you start adding these to your store. The next big updates are the updates to mockups. So we've always had this preview of mockups, but a big complaint a lot of people had was that you can't actually download your mockups. They would automatically, yes, upload to Etsy if you uploaded them or Shopify, but you couldn't download them to your files. But now you can. And to do that, when you're actually in the edit part of Printify, and you go to preview, what you can do is you can download your mock-up. You're also able to upload your very own background. So on these ones that have a white background, you can actually add an image and then this will upload to Etsy with the background or you can download the image with the background. Another cool thing that I saw, if you click on show more to see some of the more mock-ups that you have, we have a lot of new ones in here, different models, different styles. We have couples ones. And now they've even provided a size chart so you don't have to go buy them or make them your own. If you're happy with this one here, you can use this in your store. And that's not the only change when it comes to mock-ups. Now you're also able to upload your very own mock-ups to Printify. This was something I had issues with early on because because I wanted to keep all of my listing together. But before you could only upload your own custom made mockups in Etsy or in Shopify or whatever platform you plan to sell on. Versus now there's an option to upload your own mockups to keep it attached to this Printify listing. So now I also have the Printify listings and the ones that I created. This one I created by buying a mockup off of Etsy. I use Canva or Kittle or Photopea or whatever editing platform you use to create your mockups. And then I uploaded it to my mockup library so that it stays with my Printify listing. And I love this because if I ever need to duplicate this listing, if I wanna move this listing over to a different store, if I ever need to make changes, I have everything I need all together. Again, it was very difficult before if I needed to make some changes in Printify, but my photos only existed in Etsy. I just love to have this unified spot for everything I need for this listing. The next big change on the Printify platform is what some of you might have seen called
called Printify Choice. Printify Choice works within the US and what it does is it allows you to just select Printify Choice and then they will choose the print provider that is closest to your customer so that you can get it in the fastest amount of time. They use high quality print providers. They promise fastest delivery and the lowest prices as well. While some people might absolutely love using this, my personal preference is to choose my print provider manually, which I've been doing since I started with Printify because I like to know where my products are coming from, how much I'm gonna be paying each time and what the quality is. I've always been very big on having the control within my hands. So personally, I don't really wanna give it up to Printify Choice. I also ship internationally and I also have a lot with sleeve prints. And unfortunately, because not every print provider can do this, you're limited on the colors and on the print areas and on the locations you can ship. So again, there are some cases for some of you which you might prefer to use Printify Choice. Personally, I'm still keeping with the same and I'm manually picking the print provider that I like to use. The next few tools, not everybody has access to, but if you do, you're going to want to know about them and how to use them. And the first one is the new catalog tab called Early Access. Early Access are new products available, but they don't quite have all the information needed that a lot of the other Printify products do. For example, you can't make mock-ups with this new Early Access because they're not ready. But if you can figure out how to make them your own, which I'm going to show you how, you're gonna have a leg up above other people who don't have access to these products yet. So if you want to make any of these products, first you can find it under your catalog and then you're able to find it under early access. And then you are going to find your products, things like yard signs. Right now we have this insulated travel mug. We have some new hats coming in, some new shorts from Comfort Colors, which I think are really interesting. And they're always adding new ones to this. But again, you're not able to create mock-ups. So what do you do if you don't have photos for this yet? Well, we're going to create our own. And to do this, when you are in the design portion of any of these early access products, what you need to do is you need to download assets. Once you download these assets, you're going to find a folder called mockups. And the issue is, is it's a .psd file, which is a Photoshop file. But if you go to photop.com, it's a free version of Photoshop online, which allows you to open this PSD file. And you can see here that we're going to need PSD because what they've done is they've actually warped your design so that it has a curve so that it matches the product and the curve of the cup behind it. Under layers, you're going to see one called place your design and you're going to double click this and it's going to open up a new file called your design here. And you're going to delete the your design here. Then you're going to bring in your own design file and then do make sure you delete or at least hide that other file that said delete this. To open up your own file like this and bring this in, you just need to go to file, open in place, bring in your PNG file, and then we want to save this file. And you can do that with command S or you can go to file and we are going to hit, there we go, save. <laughs> and now once we actually go back to this tab up here, we're gonna see that there, your design here, placeholder text was replaced with our file. And if we want to move this around at all, I would go back to this file, move it up, make it larger, do the same thing, save it, and then come back. And now we're able to edit this and all of the effects that were applied to make this look realistic on this product like the curve are going to be applied automatically. Then you can save that file. You can remove the background, replace the background, do whatever you would like to create a product photo for you to use, to be able to sell these or to get a next step up. I would highly recommend just ordering yourself a sample and taking some photos yourself. Maybe you can be one of the first people also selling mockups for this type of product that isn't available to the wide market yet. The next is Printify Insights. And Printify Insights is super helpful to understand how your business is doing and how Printify is doing as a whole so you can implement what's working for others into your store. For example, if you take a look at Printify Insights, there's a tab called Best of Printify where you can add, say, a product you sell like the Gildan 18,000 and you can scroll down and you can see what colors are the best selling of this product. You can see which ones are gaining popularity, 
losing popularity. I can imagine black and orange are probably gonna be moving up soon since Halloween is coming, but sand is always the number one variant for the guild in 18,000. So if you're not offering them that, that in your store, maybe it's time to reconsider adding it. If you want to learn more about Printify Insights, I did a whole YouTube tutorial on how to use this to make business decisions. So if you haven't yet, go ahead and check that out. I will link it as the next video. And the last update is something that is currently being announced, but it's also started being implemented and that is embroidery on Printify. So far, we have these three hats that are able to be embroidered. And to find this, you just go into the search bar and type embroidery, and you're gonna find the dad cap, snapback turtle cap, and the flat bill snapback. While these are exciting because I absolutely love embroidery, what I'm waiting for is what was announced when they announced these launching. And that is that both tees, sweatshirts, and other product embroidery is coming soon. I wish there was a release date for this, but in that email coming soon, I'm gonna be holding them to that because I absolutely cannot wait for sweatshirts to have the option for embroidery on Printify. Right now, Printful does offer this, so I do fulfill my embroidered products through Printful, but they are not my favorite platform to use. And the minute Printify does come out with these embroidered sweatshirts and t-shirts, I will be moving all of my embroidered products back onto Printify, and this is probably one of the most exciting updates that I have just been waiting for, and I can't wait to actually see these all implemented within the platform. If you want to use Printify, you haven't signed up yet, you can sign up with my link below and also get 20% off your first month on all of your orders. Again, with the link in the description below. For others using Printify, I hope this was helpful. Not all of these new updates were announced. They were just things I noticed while going through Printify in the last week or two. So I hope this helped you uncover some new tools that you can use within Printify to help you along your print on demand journey. Thanks guys, and I'll see you next week.